everyone how are you guys doing today it's your girl again karimat of boss baby talk if this is the first time i'm coming your way why don't you sit back relax subscribe and turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss any of my upload for my holidays i say welcome back on this platform i really appreciate you and for the new people that are just seeing my face for the first time on this platform i talk about how to migrate to canada Canada job opportunities, schooling, and how you can easily get accommodation without no stress. Using my lifestyle as a Nigerian immigrant living in Canada. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can actually get accommodation in Canada without no stress. What and what do you need to do to get yourself prepared to start looking for accommodation when you get to Canada. Should you search for accommodation from wherever country you're coming from before you get to Canada? Or should you search for accommodation when you land in Canada? If you want to know more about it, if this kind of interests you, why don't you sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and juice, get your pen and paper so that you can also jot something down. Now just before we get into the video, I would like to tell you what you're gonna be needing to get the house in Canada, whether you wanna rent an apartment or a house or a room to rent in Canada. Your landlord definitely will be asking you to get your credit report and you're nearly in Canada, you cannot obviously get that, but you can give them your admission letter, yes. Also, if you have a school ID card already, you can also give them that. Your bank statement, you also want to give them, you remember, you you know, you're going to have to open an account. For them to see that you have something that in the bank account that, you know, the money wouldn't be a problem for you to be paying. So you need to show them that I don't ask you to go and give them your bank card. I didn't ask you to make a photocopy of that no but <laughs> just give them the bank statement you can always just tell the bank to print that out for you and you can give that to your landlord yes also if you have your school id card you can give them the admission letter you can also give them that and the landlord make sure if you're going to pay the landlord get a bank draft don't give the landlord cash get a bank draft for to pay the first and last. If you want to stay there in a year or six months, get a bank draft that will pay the first and last rent because obviously when you're renting a house in Canada, you pay first and last rent. And the rest of the month, if you're going to stay a year, they might ask you to pay, I mean, to give them postage check for 10 months. You know, if you're paying for the first month and the last month, you have 10 months left. So they might ask for the 10 month uh, check, postage check that you can give to the landlord. If you have that, you know, you could get that from the bank as well. If you can give them that, you want to give them that. But also when you are renting a house, I will say always go for short term because you don't know how long you really want to stay in this place. You don't know how conducive it's going to be for you to be living in this place. So you really just want to stay there like, you know, short term, like four months or six months. Let the landlord be aware of that. And you can also give them the postage check for, you know, whatever the friend the month is as well. So it's as simple as that. And let's just get right into it. Yeah, this is basically for somebody that is newly in Canada okay when you are coming to Canada you don't know anyone here and you either come here as a visitor or you came to Canada as a as a student okay and you haven't you know got anywhere to stay yet I'll say sit back at the airport you know when you land at the airport sit back at the airport try to do your booking you know go to Airbnb that's the first thing you want to do okay go to Airbnb and um, check the location of the school you are going first so that the distance you know between where you're gonna be staying and the location of the school is not you know really far so like right now I'm just gonna put you know any date let's say okay I'm at the airport presently and I'm checking in on the 18th, which is basically today, just like you can also see on the 10 because today is uh, actually 10. So, uh, so you can also put any date, that same date, 
if they have it available definitely they will have something available somewhere for you you know that is for sure and you just want to put like a week because you don't know you know how long you're gonna be able to stay there before you can actually you know get what you're looking for so yeah I've put Toronto okay uh, I don't know the specific place you're going you know where your school is in Toronto but make sure you choose the Airbnb that is closer to your school so that it's gonna be stress-free to school as well probably you're just gonna need to take a uh, go train you know for one time like to go to school go train and get your bus as well or you just want to take bus from that Airbnb you know direct to the school so make sure it's close at least to the school so looking for where you're gonna stay as well that's if you haven't even booked the dorm you know we're gonna be talking about that because of course they have the dorms in school where you can also you know stay but of course a lot of people say it's expensive you know coming to Canada for the first time you don't want to also stay where it's really expensive so let's look at you know let's get a place you know where you can actually stay Toronto yeah so I'm trying to see if I can see another cheap one okay I'm trying to see okay yeah total okay so I'm trying to see if I can get a cheap one uh, so yeah so you can see a lot came out so you just have to search for the one that is actually really cheap okay yeah you want to search for the one that is really cheap so and I can see here I saw one that is hundred and one dollar Canadian here yeah? so basically the total of that uh, a week that you're gonna be staying there you're gonna pay 700 and something I don't think it's expensive you know to look actually for what you want where you're gonna be staying for like at least three months or you're gonna be staying there for six months you want to make sure you get a good place you're gonna stay you know so look at it properly call these people up and then you can just check in there so it's gonna be so easy and this is basically what I have in there this is the room you know there are lots more there as well there are lots more there as well and as you can see you know they have a kind of a okay uh, actually it's a $69 uh, per, you know per night and uh, but because of the cleaning uh, fee and the service fee as well which they have totaled together here for the week you know <laughs> that makes it uh, a bit kind of uh, on the high side and obviously you have to pay tax everyone pays tax in uh, Canada so yeah that's about that one that's the first thing you want to do from the airports okay so let's go to the second thing you need to do so this is the next thing you're gonna do when you have already settled in in the Airbnb that you have booked okay uh, you try to search for bank and I'm gonna say to me you know I've been here in Canada you know for quite some time now so and I can say like these are the best actually bank here you know TD uh, Bank TD Canada Trust you know just google it TD Canada Trust and I type student here as you can see does TD Bank offer special checking accounts for students and this is what comes out which has which is TD offers our customized checking account to fit the need of students so obviously they're gonna open account for you you can open account here in Canada as a student and you can also check uh, for RBC okay these two bank they are really good they you know they are really good for newcomers you know in Canada especially students you know they are really really good for you and you can easily start building your credit with them you can go wrong about it you know you can also go to the bank walk in as well you can see the address you can walk in so you can say where is the uh, RBC you know uh, near me rbcroyabank.com or the CA 
near me it's going to show you all the address of the rbc that is near that is closer to you so you can easily go there without no problem you know open an account and you might be lucky you know i know now if you open an account with tdl with a uh, rbc royal bank they give like i think 500 dollars or 1000 dollars for credit card yes to start building up your credit because of you are new in canada so you want to try you know those two bank you know you can go wrong about them yes guys the next thing you want to do is to at least download you know our uh, toronto transit or toronto go station on your mobile phone so that you can be able to track when the bus is coming to the area you are staying you know so that you don't go miss your lectures in school you don't go miss your you know you don't get to school late at any time you want to always be there on time even before the lecture start you know get yourself at least to school at least five minutes before school starts so that you can get settled don't be breathing too heavy like yeah you would have get settled before your lecture starts you want to stay closer to the school as well that is very important so and right now how to look for a place i'm just gonna show you just go to you know www kijiji.ca so and this is it right here kijiji as you can see uh just like uh for ghana now they have a gigi gigi dot uh, gh that's for ghana this is kijiji looking for a place now you can see i type in something already you know brampton room for rent and uh yeah yeah room rental and this is in now uh, toronto or uh, gta so yeah and this is what I have here basically this is one bedroom let's look for this one this one is actually so cool for students you know you can go wrong with this actually let's open it and see how the place look like yeah this is what you're gonna get you know for like housing okay in Toronto this is in Toronto and um, this is is it in Toronto. This is okay. This is Brampton, and it's close to the Trinity Mall. Okay, and um, this is the bedroom. Okay, okay. This is your bedroom. Look at that. Okay, this is the living room, and that's the bedroom. Hmm. So basically, this place they are looking for two people. Actually, they are looking for two people. Uh, that's why they've put two bed there so which is not bad at all if you can you know actually live with someone you know it's, it's, it's good or if you meet somebody helping school that you know you can actually you know share that place together will be really good for you and now uh, let's see what and what they want in that one and uh yeah what is included and what is not what is inside the house they say rent is 500 per person so and uh, slash months so and includes bed mattress uh internet so you don't have to buy extra like you know internet of course you're gonna get your phone it's coming up with our internet definitely if you get the bundle for that you get a package which you can easily get like 30 dollars in the month you know so whenever you are home you know you switch to the internet at home so it's gonna be easier for you like that so and the utilities is included as well you don't have to pay any other thing apart from that five hundred dollars that you're gonna be paying and your laundry as well you know in the unit that means uh, this says in the unit okay this might be shared one or although the no right is going to be shared okay but if it's upstairs in their house because this is you know this is basement you know this is basement so if the laundry is not you know uh, at the basement if it's up that means you have to schedule when you want to wash the time you want to wash your clothes with the uh with the landlord or landlady of the house you know no alcohol they don't want people that are drinking in the house okay no alcohol or beer allowed in the house yes they don't want nobody to come and break their head in the house yes obviously <laughs> i didn't just say that <laughs> okay yeah so that's it about that and uh, basically on uh, how to look for house in kijiji and you can also share this as well another place you can look for house this is on a view it and 
and this is also another one on our uh, isleting okay and this one is 700 uh, dollars Canadian and it includes utilities as well you know you wouldn't have to pay anything and this come with the house all this one that is highlighted that is what comes with the house okay uh, the house is not in the basement I guess because since they didn't I like that here that means it's probably like a room in the house and the number is there to call and you can also email them you know in case you know you want to call them as well before coming because you could also do that before you come in the country or you could do that when you are you know at the Airbnb so but you can also call them before you come in the country laundry is there for your fridge and stuff is there parking in case you drive okay so you're gonna have a uh, parking spot okay so they're gonna have a spot for you at least one definitely you know AC yeah they say AC <laughs> definitely <laughs> that one is compulsory okay AC normally switch to uh, uh, AC when it's summertime and uh, when it's winter it's automatically switched to or you will be the one to switch it back to uh, the eater you know it comes out in you know the same way yeah that's how it is and um, this is the house yes let's see what I got yeah and this is view heat uh -huh. and this is on view eight you can see yeah yeah basically that is you know it's a room in a house yeah you can see that so you're basically going to be sharing the kitchen with our owner so which is not bad if you don't want to live with somebody like sharing the one i showed you earlier 500 dollars each on putting two people in the room you might be like oh you don't know the person before and you don't really feel comfortable living with you know somebody in the same room as well so this one you're gonna have a room to yourself but it's 700 dollars canadian dollars yes and this is about it on how to look for house save that write that down view it dot ca kijiji dot ca you can't go wrong about those yes guys the next i'm gonna be showing you now is the dance in the school the dance okay here we call it the dance back home in our high school we call it hostel yeah that we stay you know in the boarding school and that you know just like your hostel in the uni as well the hostel in the school and that but here it's called the dorms okay and this is basically how it looks and you know what the rooms looks like as well that is what i'm just showing you some people that can afford it they take it and people that cannot afford it they uh they go for out you know they go out to rent a place where they can actually stay but close to the school as well but if you can afford it you wouldn't need to stay you know at the airbnb you wouldn't need to book airbnb you would just be coming from nigeria to airport here in canada and to the dumps or if they are close you know maybe you come late you know where you have you know at the portal where you have to get the key they have closed that means you still have to check in in the airbnb or the hotel before you can actually you know get in uh, in contact with them the next day so you really want to book your flights uh to that time that you know they will still be open you know before you get to canada if you have uh, actually paid for to stay in the dorms yes and this is what the room in the dorms basically look like yeah it's not bad at all it's really good yeah and uh privacy obviously yes there's privacy as well yeah and there are, there are ones there's some as well that you know uh bong as well <laughs> yeah you could, if you're two or if you mix up someone like a friend you could easily be staying together yes you can stay with people at the dorms as well and you can decide to just get a room to yourself at the dorms only you in the room and if you want you know to if you want it to be like a shared room this is basically how they look like you can see you know it's actually not bad at all you know but for me i just like to stay with somebody but uh mainly in the country you might not really 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 you know be free mm -hmm. and i've put uh sheridan college this is sheridan dorms okay 
and uh, I don't know what school you have applied to so but uh, uh, Dom's at Sheridan this is what it looks like yeah this is basically what you're gonna get yeah it's not really bad at all you know but just that the money eh? the money mm. but if you can if you can afford it I would say go for it okay go for it and if you are there for like uh, I don't know if you can negotiate that uh, with the school to be able to stay there maybe for one semester you know then the next semester you could uh, you know actually stay outside if you want because you would have get you know familiar with so many things and so many areas as well so you might wish to leave the school and stay you know off campus okay and that is it for today okay if you've watched the video up to now i say a very big thank you to you and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe have you i'm waiting have you thank you thank you for subscribing and remember to turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss any of my upload i'm gonna be bringing you like i said Canada job opportunities, schooling and accommodation, how you can migrate to Canada. Yes, this is what we talk about on this platform. So go ahead and subscribe now so that you don't miss me and you don't miss any of my, you know, juicy, juicy video I'm going to be putting out here for you guys. I love you guys and you already know it. Until I come your way again, goodbye for now. <music>